Jason, what would you say is the presuppositionalist view? I, I think that's the way to summarize it would be biblical authority. It's, it's the view that says that God's word is the ultimate standard by which all truth claims are judged. And I think in distinction from some of these other methods of apologetics, rather than trying to give you know, the unbeliever evidence for God, you know, here's this evidence and, and you, can, you can be the judge and I'll, I'll try and persuade you that God exists. The presuppositional method would recognize, as Romans 1 teaches, that the unbeliever already knows God, but has suppressed that truth and unrighteousness. And so rather than trying to uh, give new evidences, I'm, I'm going to try and peel back and expose the unbeliever's suppressed knowledge of God. And, I, in, and one of the ways I would do that is I'd point out that the unbeliever is able to know things. And the reason he's able to know things is because of God's revelation, ultimately. God, of course, there's a number of ways that God has revealed to us. But uh, the Bible indicates that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It's because God exists. God is the source of all knowledge. And unbelievers reveal their suppressed knowledge of God by uh, the fact that they know things and the fact that they're able to do math and they're able to build rockets and so on. And so the presuppositional method peels away that suppressed knowledge of God in the unbelievers, uh, in the unbelievers view, or at least that's what we attempt to do.